Hi guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the Right Booth sharing station. So I've got it running on a 42 inch touch screen connected to my laptop. Um, I've also got um, a TP-Link wireless router here to create a private Wi-Fi network to allow people to get the videos and photos off the station. But I'll just show you the operation of the station to begin with. Now we're looking at the Right Booth start screen here. And this item is a video sequence item and it's showing all the videos that are recorded by the system uh, and they're all held inside one folder on the computer so it's actually cycling through them one at a time um, and it's showing little clips out of each one now all this can be customized um, so this is the start screen so a user comes up to the start screen touches the screen that takes you to the second screen in the right booth event in the sharing station and it's basically a media view um, so it's a grid of all of the um, items that are on the system. So there's six at the front. You can have as many as you like and you can scroll through them backwards and forwards. So we've got a mixture of videos and photos and the user can choose any one they like. So let's go for this one and then you hit the next button. Now here we can see the video playing, but we also get two QR codes. Now let me just go back again. This time I'll choose um, a photo, click next, and again we're seeing the two QR codes. So this QR code is to allow a user to connect their mobile device to the local network. And then once they've connected to the Wi-Fi network, they can scan this code to get the photo onto their phone. So let's give that a go. Here's my phone. And basically you can use any QR code scanner app. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S6 here uh, and here's a barcode scanner. So I'm going to scan this code first. That's allowing me to connect to the network. So let's just do that. So the phone is connecting to the network. I'm now connected to the Wi-Fi network. I can now scan this QR code. And it's giving me a link directly to the photo on my sharing station. So let's just touch that. And the photo is instantly viewable using the browser on my phone. I can use the phone's features to download the image onto the phone or I can copy it. I can send it to other people, etc. We can also do the same with videos. Let's try a video. So back in, uh, let's choose this one. Now this time I don't need to scan this code because I'm already, my phone is already joined to the network. So all I have to do is scan this code. Again, I get the link to the MP4 file this time. Let me just return that back there. As you can see, I've now got the video I'm viewing it on my phone and again I can download it to my phone if I wish you can also use devices like iPads anything that can connect to the network you can then get access to this media and when the user's finished it will return back to the start screen to allow the next user to use the system so the way that the station is set up is it can either be used standalone on a separate PC con uh, connected to the network on a, you know, on a second computer or it can run on the same PC as the recording system so if Rightmove is recording videos it could actually be running on that system as well so you could just use one computer instead the way that would work is you would switch between the recording system and the sharing station um, and the other way of doing it is to actually have this embedded directly inside the recording uh, event so that when a user has finished recording their video or taking their photo they'll get instant access to download the files using QR codes in the recording event itself. Also the sharing station can be used by other uh, packages so it doesn't have to be Rightbooth that creates the media. The sharing station is literally just watching an, a folder on the computer so any other software that can send videos or photos to that folder on the network can feed the right booth sharing station. Uh, other features that you can use for photos, 
if we go into this photo for instance we can obviously scan the photo at this point and get it onto the phone or we can choose next to go to further options and here we can still scan the photo but we could also print it if there's a printer attached um, we could email it to people um, and we could also scan this code here to download that photo layout uh, the same principle applies with videos so with videos you could actually also email them um, and then when you're finished you just click the finish button the system thanks you and it returns you back to the start screen with the rolling uh, viewer so as I say everything is customizable um, you can change the logos the backgrounds you can have animated backgrounds um, different styles etc and I'll show you how to do that in another video. So I hope you find it useful and thanks for watching.